I go to Princeton University, majoring in psychology. I go to Harvard, and I'm majoring in economics. I'm going to Duke, and I'm majoring in psychology and global health. I'm going to Johns Hopkins, and I'm majoring in chemistry. Our advantage, great teachers and programs at Orange County Public Schools. See what's possible for you. There are magnet programs, advanced placement and honors classes, and guidance counselors who help us choose the right courses. You can even earn college credit while in high school. OCPS has programs for every type of learner. Orange County Public Schools, leading students to success. Well, th welcome everyone. We must give a big round of applause to our four singers this evening. And they are, beginning with Miss Carla Bell. Miss Bell is a Bethune-Cookman graduate and currently employed at the Department of Veterans Affairs and she goes, attends Judah Church under Pastor Clinton Brown. Next, we have Malone Drakes. He is a Jones High School graduate. Also, Stacy Ali, a Jones High School grad. And finally, Marvin White, a FAMU grad and a Jones High School grad. Well, good evening. Tonight's event is very busy, and for the sake of the event flow, it won't be possible for us to take photos of each group, but I want you to know that this entire event is being recorded and posted on our OCPS Board Meeting YouTube channel. It's accessible from the school board page of our OCPS website, so you'll be able to see that. In several, it takes a little while to turn that around, but it will be on the school board page under YouTube. Welcome to this year's District 5 Recognition and Black History Celebration. My name is Kathy Marsh. I'm Senior Manager of Media Relations for the district. We have now invited the Oak Ridge Honor Guard to open tonight's meeting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. And now, your District 5 School Board member and School Board Vice Chair of Orange County Public Schools, Mrs. Kathleen Cat Gordon, to share a few words with us. Thank you so much for the singers from Jones High and work at Carla being here with us, working with the federal government and Veterans Affairs. We appreciate you. You are the kind of alumni that we just exalt, and we will be saluting you and celebrating you when we celebrate our 145 years of Orange County Public School in March and May at the Rosen Shingle Creek, my favorite resort. <laughs> Good evening, and thank you for joining me tonight, along with the distinguished superintendents that you see behind me, and they, Dr. Jara, Dr. Borda, Dr. Marie Vasquez, Dr. Kathy Shula, Dr. Bridget Williams, and Dr. James Lawson. You are in for a treat. Dr. Jenkins cannot be with us. She had another commitment. We have sent her on a, another journey. She is a superintendent that travels for us and bring back all kinds of honors. 
Again, I say, before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge some very special guests. We want you to know the highest ranking officer in the House tonight is from the United States Congress. And that person is the area director for United States Congresswoman Corrine Brown. That is none other than Ronita Sanders. We're going to ask her to stand, our highest ranking officer in the House. Our next highest ranking officer is a constitutional officer. She's also the former Orange County Commissioner and newly elected Clerk of Courts, none other than Tiffany Moore Russell. Will you stand? <laughs> Ms. Moore Russell is in dual role tonight. She will also be honored, and you will hear that later. Orange County Sheriff Demons is always here always here, and we just thank him. He is our African-American male only constitutional officer, and we would like to salute him with his outstanding, oh my God, I wouldn't want to be the sheriff right now. <laughs> That is our sheriff, and we love him so much. The next person, and she's on her way, is our newly elected Orange County Commissioner, Victoria Siplin. You will be hearing from her later. We will be having next Thursday our first meeting together with Pete Clark, my commissioner for the county, and we will be talking about educational issues that concern. Kathy Marsh will be our moderator. You will not want to miss that. There will be light refreshments there. And our next person is Orlando City Commissioner, newly elected, none other than Regina Hill, who resides in District 5 and will be working with Orange County School to see to it that the city, the schools in the city will be the best that they can be. I want to thank them all for being here tonight as my elected officials and we work together closely. As you all know, February is Black History Month. There's no better time to recognize the employees, community members, nonprofit organization and businesses that have contributed so much to the success of Orange County Public Schools. We know that our addition office recognize you, but we in District 5, you are here tonight because look at you. This is what you do. This is why we are on top, because you are here, and it's what you do for the schools in District 5. And we want you to know, the board service staff, that we appreciate you. And one of Martin Luther King's most famous speech, he stated that it isn't a desire to be out front. A desire to lead the parade, a desire to be first, that should define greatness, but rather, everybody can be great, because everybody can serve. Each one of you have served tonight, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Everyone in this room is a servant leader. You are a person that have given of your time to our children. You have given of your talent. And of course, we know you've given monetary. And we love you for that. I want to personally thank you for all that you've done. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to ask our efficient and my most popular news reporter, Kathy Marsh, from Media Relations, to come up and lead us through this wonderful evening of recognition. Let's give her a round of applause. And now we'll hear from Dr. James Lawson, the district's minority achievement officer who is representing Superintendent Barbara Jenkins this evening. As you heard, Dr. Jenkins is traveling. Good evening, everyone. Okay, we are celebrating this month. As we celebrate the Black History Month, I want you to look around and look at all the black achievers who are in this room today. There are a great deal of those, those who have struggled and those who have succeeded in making a success for themselves. Inspiration to achieve is undoubtedly comes from some of our greatest famous black achievers. You see their faces on the posters out there in the reception area, and some of them are right here in this hall as we are talking today. On behalf of Superintendent Barbara Jenkins, know that you are leaders. Our children see every day. 
you, we, touch their lives. This is our daily mission. Let us continue doing the good work that we do. And I want you to have a very good day today. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Lawson. Mrs. Gordon will now present her awards as she does every year. Assisting Mrs. Gordon will be Dr. Lawson and also Anna Alone, a staff member from our public relations department. First, we're extremely proud of our schools in District 5 that have received their five-star school designation. This award is presented annually to schools that have shown evidence of exemplary community involvement. Would the principals from the following schools please come up to receive their certificate of congratulations. Millennia Elementary. Oak Hill Elementary. Jones High School. Oak Ridge High School. And Mid Florida Tech. Congratulations to all of our five-star school recipients, a designation which is not easy to earn. Thank you very much. And now our A and B schools. We're extremely proud of our schools in District 5 that have received grades of A or B. Would the principals of the following schools please come up to receive a certificate of congratulations. Palmetto Elementary School. <laughs> Palmetto Elementary School received its first A grade ever this past year. Eccleston Elementary School. Okay. And just so you know, Palmetto was also a five-star five school. school. All right. <laughs> Millennia Elementary School. Orange Center Elementary School. And finally, West Oaks Elementary School. <laughs> Congratulations to all of our principals, their teams, the students who have led, truly led their schools to success. Thank you. And now Mrs. Gordon, as she does every year, has special recognitions. She chooses people in the community who she would like to recognize for their wonderful efforts at making Orange County and where we live one great place to be. As I call you, please come up so you can receive your certificate. First, the OCPS Grants Department. The OCPS Grants Department has dedicated itself to ensuring equity in education for decades. This dedicated team has provided support for many District 5 schools. <laughs> and Mrs. Gordon singing an OJ song, okay. This department has a total of 117 years of grant-related experience among the grants and data projects managers. 
To date, a total of $143 million in both competitive and entitlement grants funding is currently being monitored for compliance. We appreciate your dedication to the OCPS vision and mission. I'd like to introduce you to our grants department, beginning with Director Alfredo Ortiz. Frenchie Porter. Thank you. Teresa Shipley. Jeannie Floyd. And also Kim Gilbert, Beth Wood, Leon Scott, and George Snyder, who were unable to be with us tonight. Thank you. Next, we have the Raffman Club. What is the Raffman Club? Retired Air Force, Marine, Army, Navy. The Raffman Club is a group, as you've heard, of all retired military members who have dedicated themselves to making a difference in our community. The Raffman men raise money every year to provide two scholarships to Central Florida residents needing funds to attend Valencia College. Representing the Raffman are Arthur Jarvis, Mr. Melvin Henry, <laughs> Leslie Stoves, Thank you, Joseph Cockrell, Thank you, and Calvin Moore. Thank you. We and I know you're pretty talented, so you can. Mr. Mann. Okay, and Simon McGray. Mr. Mann. Simon McGray. Okay. Simon McGray. We would like to acknowledge a very important leader of this group, Mr. George Jordan. Mr. Jordan unfortunately passed last year on September the 22nd, 2014, but his daughter, Valerie Morris, and other family members are here on his behalf. We appreciate everything that your father has done for our students, Ms. Morris. And we have a plaque. Who would like to read the inscription? You, yeah. <laughs> In memory of George D. Jordan, Master Sergeant, United States Air Force, retired, 1934 to 2014. Retired Master Sergeant George D. Jordan was a community leader, a trusted advisor, and a friend to many. He served as president of the Raffman Club, Incorporated, for more than 32 years, as well as being actively involved in various other community organizations. He was a supporter of education and an advocate for students in Orange County School Board District 5. Retired Master Sergeant George D. Jordan's legacy of giving to his community and supporting education will continue for generations to come. And this plaque will be presented to you by District 5 School Board Member Kathleen Gordon, also our Vice Chair. Will you come forward with the family, please? I want you to know before, I'm not trying to talk today. You know how much you love. He already had another dream. And he looked at me like I was crazy when I asked him to do it. <laughs> but Arthur and all of the gentlemen standing behind me said, we will do it. My son is a veteran, my husband's a veteran, my grandfather, my husband, my father, everybody, my daughters. Um, Stacy and I are the only one that are not veterans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm but I'm selective service board, so I get to say who go when the war breaks out. <laughs> <laughs> and um Jarvis, this is just one of the best groups in Orlando, best kept secret. They've been given, like the 100 black men, they've been given scholarships for many, many years. And we've honored them more than once. 
but the part that touched us the most, and this is specially designed by Mel Miller Smith for your father, because she worked extremely hard with him when I would beg him to do things for us. And he said, I got to go ask the guys. And then I would be knocking on the door at the Claudia Allen said, and they didn't want to open the door. That <laughs> I said, but we have young men that are in the military, in the Air Force, in the Army, in the Marine, and, and the Navy, and they want to be a part. Will you mentor them and let them know that when they return home, that they have a place with the raftmen? And your father said, yes, they're going to do that. And these gentlemen standing behind his daughter, they said that they would see that our young men that come out of Orange County Public School be able to have men of valor that can talk to them and keep them because you know what suicide is like. My daughter, my son came back great, but my daughter came back a basket case. And it is something to have to work with a military person. And you see the American Sniper movie, all of this is real. If you've never had to deal with it, it is something to deal with. So I want you to know, we appreciate your father so much. And we want you to always keep this piece that Mal had designed for him since she worked with him the most. Uh, to get things done for students in our school system, that this piece will always, when you look at it on the table, remind you of the work that your father did for not just the young people in Orange County School, but what he had planned to do for the future, and what Arthur Jarvis and the men standing behind me, and Mr. McCray and the president of the Rapman Club will continue to carry on. We love you, we support you, and your father was a good man. Thank you. Jordan family members, and of course, thank you to our Raffman Club, as you heard, such an integral part of Orange County Public Schools. And now, the African American Council of Christian Churches. The members of the African American Council of Christian Clergy, or the AACCC, has supported Orange County Public Schools on the many issues that impact our school community. From the landmark unitary status settlement to the sales tax referendum, to taking a leadership role in our faith-based initiative here at the district. You have supported us in so many ways. Rep representing the AACCC today is Pastor Larry G. Mills. Thank you, Pastor Mills. And he's the president. And he is the president of the AA Triple C. Again, Pastor Larry Mills. Thank you, Pastor. And now, under the heading Cultural Heritage, here in Orange County, we pride ourselves on our cultural diversity. It's great. It's what makes Orange County Public Schools the great district it is, because our children learn from each other. The following people have made important contributions to expanding and improving our cultural landscape. Natasha Wiley. Natasha is the founder of the Haitian American Art Network, which promotes Haiti's rich cultural heritage. Miss Wiley, are you with us? this evening. Okay. Also, Dr. Karen Green. Dr. Karen Green has been instrumental in making sure that the African-American community stays involved in politics and government. Yes. Dr. Green. <laughs> you. Ms. Martine Menard. Ms. Martine Menard is a successful entrepreneur and the owner of Haitian television station, Tela Anakeona. <laughs> Ms. Damara Soto. Ms. Damara Soto has been instrumental in keeping families together. 
As an educator with UCF and her personal practice, Ms. Soto is dedicated to improving our community by strengthening family bonds. Thank you to all for what you do for our community. Delta Omicron Omega Chapter Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. The members of the Delta Omicron Omega Chapter of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated have always encur encouraged youth to excel fundamentally and academically. They sponsor Reading is Fundamental, a program that provides books to students on a monthly basis. They've done this at Oak Hill and Hiawassee Elementary Schools. They've also provided mentoring support to the students at Rock Lake Elementary and Memorial Middle School. And, and if that's not enough, the chapter also awards a minimum, a minimum of five scholarships to graduating high school seniors every year. Representing the chapter, we have, among others, Ms. Tanya Cook, President, and Donna Gatling. Okay. <laughs> Representing the chapter are Ms. Tanya Cook and the President, Donna Gatling. <laughs> and Tiffany Moore Russell. For the Delta women and Zetas, the Alpha Kappa Alpha women. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. Let her chew and she would like to take a photo. Very good. Say a few words. All right. Please. Good evening, everyone. To Dr. Barbara Jenkins, in her absence, the Orange County Public School Superintendent, Mr. Bill Sublett, the school board chairman, in, in his absence as well, to Mrs. Kathleen Cat Gordon, school board vice chair, and other distinguished members of the Orange County Public School. Greetings. My name is Tanya Cook. On behalf of the president, Mrs. Donna Gatling, uh, Vice President Gail Burke, and other members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority here in the Orlando area, we held a conference in November um, here at the, uh, at the or Orlando Rosen Plaza, and over 3,000 ladies of the sorority were in attendance. As one of our national sorority initiatives, One Million Backpack, we acknowledged Ms. Gordon at the conference, and she accepted the book bags on behalf of the Orange County County public school students. Today we are very excited to present these book bags full of educational supplies for students in grades K through 12. We are happy to present over 300 book bags to be distributed to all of the schools in District 5. Congratulations. <laughs> Wonderful. Just a note also, um, if you'd like, when you walk out, you can pick up one of these cards. We'll have them outdoor, outside on one of the tables, and it will remind you where you can watch the show when it becomes available on the OCPS website. So we'll have those out there. And we asked Joseph if he would come down. And if Mr. Morgan could please come down and make sure they're out there. Know how to be able to tune in to watch the show. All right. Next, we have Carol Black. You might have seen, you just might have seen Cat riding around in a yellow, red, or black convertible Camaro the, over the years, waving her hands to fans during the Ma Martin Luther King parades in Orlando and Eatonville. <laughs> Very good. Well, special thanks goes to the owner and president, Omar Rodriguez, of Carl Black of Orlando, Orlando Buick Chevrolet, which is on the east side of Orange County. Omar does not hesitate to share his resources when OCPS calls. Omar Rodriguez.
Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez, for all you do for Orange County Public Schools. <laughs>
the journalism students at Oak Ridge High School. Just this month, three students in the Oak Ridge High School Media Group were awarded honors by the Columbia School Press Association out of New York City. That is major. The following students received Gold Circle Awards. Darcy Modica and Marie Medina received Gold Circle Awards for informational graphics for digital media. And Josu Figueroa for sports commentary for digital media. Please congratulate them. Their teacher, Colleen Bennett, who is the director of the media group. And let's, and there's Colleen Bennett. Thank you, Ms. Bennett. The students, congratulations and continued success. Now let's look at the wonderful support that our District 5 schools receive from our community partners. When I call the school's name, we would appreciate it if the principals or school representative could come down and join Mrs. Gordon. Our first school is Eagle's Nest Elementary. The Council of Catholic Women at St. Maximilian Colbay, Colbay are always ready to support the students at Eagle's Nest Elementary. They're committed to helping all students feel like equal partners in the school community. Representing the CCW is Sarah Molesky. Congratulations to the Council of Catholic Women at St. Maximilian Colbay. And now, Eccleston Elementary. The Jerusalem Grand Chapter Order of the Eastern Star has made a huge impact on Eccleston Elementary School. They've contributed so much from more than $5,000 in cash to in-kind contributions and many volunteer hours. Here to represent the chapter, our grand worthy matron, Patricia Stafford. Jacqueline Mitchell, Pandora Taylor, Danietta Taveres, Maria McCoy, Lily Walker, Karonda Jones, Kimberly Cooper, Vivian James, Michelle Standard, and Kay McPherson. Oh, wow. The Jerusalem Grand Chapter Order of the Eastern Star, making Eccleston Elementary a success. Thank you. Oh, they want to come back. Let's get a photo. That's the brand worthy matron. Our grand worthy matron visiting us this evening came all the way to this event from Palm Bay. Thank you, Ms. Stafford. Grand Avenue Learning Center. The members of the Delta. Oh, they're in the house. <laughs> Sorry, didn't take Latin. The members of the Delta Xi Lambda chapter of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity have a long-standing partnership with the Grand Avenue Learning Center. The group supports literacy initiatives, family involvement events, and the school's mentorship program. Mr. Jamil Solomon is here, along with others, to represent the group of the members of the Delta Xi Lambda chapter of the Alpha Pi Alpha fraternity. Zai. And it is Delta Xi Lambda. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Ivy Lane Elementary School. 
Ted and Carrie Schmitz have dedicated their organization, Bears Who Care, to nurturing student imagination by providing brand new teddy bears and books to every single student and staff member at the school. Every single student and staff member, Mr. and Mrs. Schmitz and others, you've made a huge difference in the lives of our students and we thank you so much for Ivy Lane Elementary and your involvement. Thank you. So how many teddy bears is that? <laughs> at the school wow. and then we're going to do more next year and hopefully I can give out to our school so let me know if you want to thank you very much thank you Mrs. Schmitz 400 teddy bears Memorial Middle School we're recognizing two groups who work with Memorial Middle School STRIDE is an acronym for Science Students Together Reaching Instructional Diversity and Excellence. The group's mission is to identify students who have a genuine interest in pursuing a career in science, engineering, mathematics, health, or medicine, and to give those students the support services important for them to develop the sense of responsibility, focus, and motivation necessary for success in those fields. Katherine Thompson is here to represent the group. Stride. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Universal Orlando has had a long-standing relationship with Memorial Middle School. They support our students' academic success in so many ways. Thanks to this very important partnership, OCPS is able to have City Year now at Memorial's campus. With us today is Universal's Valerie Reed. Mid Florida Tech. If we could have the representative from Mid Florida Tech join us, please. The Central Florida Auto Dealers Association has been instrumental in the success of Mid Florida Tech's automotive service technology program for years and years and years, right? <laughs> This year, the group has given $10,000 to the school so students with financial needs can finish the program and become gainfully employed. Mrs. Barbara Miller has been a true partner in education since 1990. She's assisted with curriculum development, participated in teach-ins, and of course pro provided countless hours of support for the program and dollars. We appreciate all you do, Barbara Miller. From Millennium, Millennia Elementary School, we have Mr. Esteban Yeps. Mr. Yeps is someone who is an unending, unending mentor for our, young, our youth, our male youth at Millennia Elementary School. Mr. Yeps mentors boys in character, academics. Also, he plays pass basketball with them when they need somebody to do just that. But most importantly, according to Principal Ann Lina, because of Mr. Yeps, because of Mr. Yeps' involvement, those students students who may have not had as much success are now soaring to success. Thank you. Thank you. From Oak Hill Elementary School, Baptiste Orthodontics is always ready to assist Oak Hill Elementary School with anything the school community needs. They've contributed so much to this community, from giving bicycles to children to providing prizes for school fundraisers that raise money for teacher incentives and student resources. They weren't able to join us this evening, but we do have Principal June Jones with us. Orlo Vista Elementary School. 
Our DMS is committed to the academic success of the students at Orlo Vista Elementary School. They support the Jaguar Reading Warrior Book Club, and they've committed to helping with the school's technological needs. Currently, Power DMS is hosting a book drive that will help build individual teacher libraries and promote independent reading. Missy Morales and Caitlin Harrell are here to receive the award for the volunteers from this national software company, Power DMS. Thank you. Orange Center Elementary School. We're recognizing several groups who work with Orange Center Elementary School. The Washington Shores Church of Christ Volunteers. The Washington Shores Church of Christ Volunteers have donated more than $3,000 to the school. The school used the funds to purchase STEM materials and keyboards for the Fine Arts Department. They're mentors to the students and they provide important role models. The church has also donated bicycles to use as student incentives for improving academic performance. Mr. Daryl Hairston is not with us this evening, but we have other representatives to represent the Washington Shores Church of Christ. Thank you. <laughs> Gabriel Clark and the members of the National Society of Black Engineers. They play an important role in introducing our Orange Center students to the world of science and engineering. <laughs> Society members come to the school every month to assist with fifth grade classes, showing them interesting hands-on experiments to get them ready for the STEM careers, which we certainly know are needed here in the United States. Thank you. And they also put on a wonderful fair at the school every year. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you to the National Society of Black Engineers and Ms. Clark. Young people. <laughs> and now, the members of the Orlando Chapter Number 3, Order of the Eastern Star. They've helped make the school's parent night and teacher appreciation events a huge success. They support the pre-K and kindergarten programs by providing the students with special treats during the holidays. We'd like all of the chapter members to come forward and receive their certificates. The members include Ebony Fraser, Ifuela Christian, Lisa Seabrooks, Christina Brooks, Michiola Mitchell, Michelle Standard, Gregory Dawkins, Eddie Bank, and Lori Jackson. Thank you very much. Also, attorneys with the Burr and Foreman Law Firm are another organization who have been role models and provided mentoring support for the male students at Orange Center Elementary School. The lawyers meet with the boys weekly to guide and empower them to focus on academic and life skills. Here with us we have two of the gentlemen, but all three who do this are Mike Haig, Matthew Devine, and Stephen Farrell. Thank you very much. And next, Orlando Tech. There's no doubt, as we've been talking about, that the STEM field, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, offer the most lucrative employment opportunities for graduating students today. Orlando Tech students in the game and simulation design program have benefited greatly from the efforts of the National Center for Simulation. The center has been instrumental in developing curriculum for the program. Their involvement has also been very important to the development of the simulation industry's first service certification. They've also participated in numerous advisory capacities for the program. There's no doubt that the National Center for Simulation is one of our most valued industry partners. They're extremely supportive of our many STEM initiatives. And here to support us, or rather to represent the organization tonight, is Ms. Deb Yagel. Thank you, Ms. Yagel. <laughs> Thank you very much. Florida Hospital. Florida Hospital has helped another important program at Orlando Tech. The hospital system provides mentors 
preceptors, and clinical sites for our health unit coordinator, patient care, medical lab, and surg surgical technology students. They also provide students with important hands-on experience in a real healthcare setting. Ms. Karen Kelly, who is with us this evening, also serves on health science program specific advisory boards. Thank you, Florida Hospital. <laughs> Palmetto Elementary School. As we've already told you, Palmetto has achieved its first A this year. We're excited about that. But the members of St. Paul's Presbyterian Church, I'm sure, are especially excited. They've played an important role in the success of Palmetto for years. For the past two years, the church has conducted an angel toy drive during the holiday season. The church also raises close to $12,000 each year for school needs. That's a lot of money. They do so much for our school community. With us tonight are church members Victoria Murphy, Alva Garfield, Marjorie Woolfork, Irvin Gracie, and Roxanne Gracie. Thank you very much. Want to tell us? They've actually raised $20,000 this year. We just heard from Ms. Murphy Osborne. That's $20,000. That's awesome. Thank you, and this is for the yearbook. Thank you, St. Paul's Presbyterian Church. Pine Hills Elementary School. For the past four years, the AARP Winter Park Chapter 1047 has committed to the academic development of Pine Hills Elementary students. And they've done this by donating Personal dictionaries to all third graders. Personal dictionaries to all third graders. This important study tool has helped students become better readers and writers. We are so proud to recognize AARP members Marie Hernandez, Jerome Williams, John DeBurr, Larry Kingsbury, and Lena Roach. Thank you. Thank you, AARP members, for doing that. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Pine Lock Elementary School. Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church has been supporting the students at Pine Lock Elementary School for more than 10 years. They've filled many student needs and are dedicated to promoting academic excellence through the distribution of backpacks full of school supplies. Thank you to church representatives Diane Prince, Dr. Janice Choice, Pastor J. Roy Morrison, Ann Britton, and Lois Davis. Thank you so much to the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church members. And one picture. St. Luke's Methodist Church. St. Luke's Methodist Church provides invaluable support to the students, staff, and parents of Pine Lock Elementary School. More than 100 volunteers from the church provide resources and activities that help students. They've sponsored important STEM initiatives, including the robotics program and the math bee. <clears throat> Doug Williams and Miriam Magisti are here with us tonight. Thank you, church members. Robinswood Middle School. <clears throat> For the past nine years, the Sheraton Vistana Resort has shown its appreciation to the staff at Robinswood Middle by providing the school support person of the year and teacher of the year with a complimentary weekend at their resort. 
Thank you, Vistana. Thank you, Vistana Resort. Yes, thank you. Sadler Elementary and Westridge Middle Schools. Iglesia El Calvario has made a positive impact at both Sadler Elementary and Westridge Middle. At Sadler, among other important activities, the church has been, an import, has been an important participant in the Young Men of Integrity Mentoring Program. At Westridge, the church introduced the Lunch Over Program, where they came every two weeks to conduct activities that have positive messages about personal development. Thank you for all you do with your volunteers, Pastor Jonathan Rivera and Denise Vega. Thank you very much. Rock Lake Elementary School. The Orlando World Outreach Center has partnered with Rock Lake Elementary School for the past three years. They're always developing support systems that help the students succeed. They provide mentors for students, created a school garden, and send volunteers to help with all school and family events. Thank you to TJ Luke and Charles Haith and the rest of the volunteers for all they do. And joining us as well, Principal Lynn Wassett. They were sick tonight. They were sick tonight. So she brought pictures. <laughs> Feeling well tonight, so a representative brought pictures. Good idea. You're going to need an iPad. That's Thank you. But you are here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Congratulations. And now, Mrs. Gordon would like for some folks to have some words to say. And if we could have you up here, Mrs. Gordon. Okay, let's, I think we did record time. Let's give Kathy Marsh a round of applause. We, we have one more recognition, and then we need to hear from one of our elected officials that's really been working every community in Orange County and really helping us in the school system. So at this particular time, I'm going to ask Dr. Lawson if he would call the following staff members. Everything that you see here tonight has been put on by our staff, and we want you to know how much we appreciate them. We cannot pay them um, what they're really worth. They put in more hours than you think, just like you're doing now. But um, they're here late at night, early in the morning, and they take all eight board members Everything we request, it's at our beck and call, and we can't ask for more. So, Dr. Lawson, if you would call their names for me, please. I'm going to ask them to come forward. Kathy, you come on. You and them. Okay, the following names are Catherine Campanella. Is that one here? Yeah. Uh, you take hers? All righty. And Marguerite just walked out the door. Okay. I'll skip her until. All right. Okay. okay. All right. The next person is Marguerite Rivera. Yay! Margarita. Drink a drink. Margarita loves purple, so you get the pick. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Joseph Morgan. for Joseph, it's really for his wife. Yeah. And Pete, too. He is a newlywed, so y'all know what that's like, gentlemen? Yeah. yeah. Anna Olon. Olon. Sorry. All right. Jason Smith. Okay. Selector Jason. Kim Bullness. Kim is not with us either. 
and Kathy Marsh. <laughs> Thank you. Deborah McGill. And last and definitely not least, Mel Miller Miller Smith. Yes. She's still here. All right. Thank you guys Thank for your work you so that you've done. At this particular time, and I just love this, you just have been a wonderful, just a wonderful audience. Will you please give yourself a round of applause? We thank Carla Bell as she's going out the door. We thank Frank, we thank Stacy, we thank Malone. But above all, I want you to hear briefly from our sheriff, Jerry Dimmings. <laughs> so, Sheriff Jerry Dimmings, if you will speak on behalf of the elected officials. We would be more than happy to have you address us. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not quite sure how I was designated to speak on behalf of the uh, elected officials, but um, Kat Gordon, I tell you, uh, she's one of a kind, and you got to love her. <laughs> Give her a round of applause for putting this together. I've known uh, Kathleen for a lot of years now. She's been ordering me around for many years. <laughs> <laughs> we attend the same church, and we're uh, members of uh, St. Mark uh, AME Church, so if any of our church members are here, you all know what I'm talking about. But, um, this is really, truly a blessing tonight to see this community coming together to take care of our children. Uh, this morning at 4 a.m., when I woke up and I looked at a report that came out at the Orange County Jail, there were just under 2,800 people incarcerated in our jail. 30 of them were children. But I believe that when this community comes together and does all the fantastic things that uh, I've seen tonight, uh, just perhaps uh, we can drive those numbers even further down. And so as the Orange County Sheriff, as an elected official, I stand with the others here tonight. We appreciate what all of you are doing to uh, make our community a better place. God bless you all. I'm going to ask our elected officials, will you please stand again? Our leader for the African-American elected officials uh, is Tiffany more Russell. Did I get that right? All right. Okay, and then you have Regina, our our city commissioner, newly elected, and then the highest ranking officer in the room representing and Congresswoman Corrine Brown always always send us the best and she's always supportive of us with the sale tax with the millage and you don't know how much we appreciate you for doing the millage when several people came up they say thank you for building us a new school and I want you to know every school in school board district 5 will be built brand new or renovated more than likely brand new so all of our schools, we will not have any old dilapidated schools, none in this district. I can't say for everybody, but I know that ours will be taken care of, <laughs> okay? Just that the Lord blessed us, okay? The, what did he say? The first shall be what? Last, and the last shall be, and we waited 15 years. So now the blessings are flowing, but we're not going to leave anybody out because you passed the second sale tax and the other schools on that list all of them will be renovated or built brand new and we want to thank dr jenkins and the board and mr morris he's having a wonderful time so give our elected officials a round of applause they are the ones 
that delegate. So we want to see you back here on Thursday and get to meet them. Kathy will be moderating. We're going to ask you to give us questions. People are talking about the Bible. They're talking about testing. They're talking about what Congresswoman Brown is going to do for us in um, Washington. But I want you to know that I represent you with the uh, Daniel Webster's office and with Congresswoman Brown more stronger because of the affiliation. She made sure that we get to Marco Rubio's office, Nelson's office. She sets up our schedule when we go to Washington. And she, we have our issues on the table that affect the schools and the children in Orange County. The same thing happens um, with the Sheriff's Department. He's working with all 13 municipalities and unincorporated Orange County. So we will share more of that with you on next Thursday at 6 o'clock. And then, of course, you know Commissioner Regina Hill and Samuel Ings. They both are a part of School Board District 5, and they both have been working hard to make sure that we get what we need for the children. And then, of course, the clerk of the court, you've been reading about the things that Ms. Russell has been doing in that endeavor. So we want you to know I am your voice on the board. I love doing it. I appreciate the confidence that you've shown in me, and I love you. Please be safe going home. Thank you. Thank you, staff. All right. A baby is born, <laughs> cute. He's already surrounded by technology. Hi, by age four, she knows how to use a smartphone. He's reading, <laughs> no, not from this, this. She's making a digital presentation. You don't even know what that is. He has an interest, no, not that, that. By middle school, she has built her own website and her first app. In high school? With my Michelson interferometer, I can measure down to the fraction of the wavelength of light. Wow. The world is changing. And they are preparing for jobs that don't even exist yet. <laughs>